Good morning, everyone. This is Eric again with Aurora Heart Healing. And today, my focus is going to be balancing everything. So, although a lot of people have this misconception that healers and people that are in successful roles have everything figured out, I would like to shatter that right now. No. We are all here on this earth and we really don't know what we're doing sometimes. And I will be the first one to say, I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the times too. There has been a lot of different parts of my life that I've been really needing to evaluate in the last, in this new year, basically. And one of the number one things that keeps coming up in my mind and also in in the sessions that I've been doing with other people, as well as uh, trading sessions with healers, is work-life balance. Balancing everything that we have in this hectic and chaotic time that we live in. And I came up with, I did my homework as well, and I've been really looking at the fact that I am really feeling spread thin. I have clients. I have a family. Uh, if you know me, I actually have six people living in our home. We, I have my husband, myself, and our four children. Three mine, one his. And sometimes... I feel so overwhelmed with how much people need of me that I forget how much I need for myself. And this is where my little questionnaire has come in. Work, life, love, friends, and self-care are the categories that I put into my life. Because work if you can call it that, energy healing. My business is what I am passionate about and what I love to do. And it also provides for me my stability, for my, my life, my growth. L love. My husband and I. If I do not have time alone with him to recenter, regroup, we could get into a rut. We can feel very frustrated with each other. There's not as much communication. And anyone that has children know that there are so many different energies coming at that relationship as a whole that sometimes we could get really lost in the shuffle. And I always recommend people, even kids or not, you should always have time for yourselves to do something different than what you usually do. Going out on a date, being romantic. I, I actually, it's funny because in the last couple of days, I've been writing a love letter to myself, to my husband, to my family, to my business, to different aspects of my life. And hopefully he doesn't see this yet, but if he does, it's okay, it's coming. <laughs> But those parts of the love life, the love act part, love is practice. And if we get stuck in that mundane day-to-day -day family, work, kid uh, structure, then we kind of lose why we're together, why we love each other, the reasons why it is that we're still here. And of course, if I want a thriving relationship, I don't want that. So I'm going to keep doing things to make sure that we're together and that we are spending time alone as a couple. Friends is the other. So we have work, love, and now friends. Friends and socializing. I found myself in the last year because... Being an entrepreneur is fairly new to me and trying to find a balance between all of the different aspects of my life has been very challenging, to be honest, sometimes downright overwhelming where I'm just like, 
I'm going to shut off my phone and I'm just going to be alone for a little while. I'll come out when I need to or when I have to, not because I have to or I want to, but because I have to, because I'm put, being pushed out. So friends is my other category. Socializing is important. We are human beings. We are created for connection. We really are. Like, if I'm alone for too long, if I stay in my hermit mode for too long, then I find myself getting depressed. And I also find myself taking it out on my family and my kids because I'm not really having that ability to vent, to discuss some of the harder topics of life. If I'm frustrated with my husband and I need to talk about something, uh, one thing that friends really do do for me is they support me and they give me a different perspective as well. Connection is something that helps, helps us grow with different perspectives because like a friend said just a little bit ago, which of course it's exactly the reason why I say we have to make a category for friends. I'm going to put this water bottle here, right? So imagine that we are the container. We are the water inside. Can we read the label from the inside of the bottle? Unless you have superpowers, no. You can't read the label from the outside or from the inside. And why is that? Because the way that we project things we don't sometimes know how we might be hurtful towards others, how our reactions might be affecting other human beings. And that is something that we definitely, at least for me, I want to look at. And it doesn't mean that I'm crappy or I'm a bad person or anything like that, but it just means that I want to observe and understand and notice and sometimes apologize when I need to as well and when i am talking to friends that connection of oh, i'm so frustrated with my children because of this they could look at it in a different perspective of maybe they're frustrated because of this and it gives me that oh, aha moment and that really does help me and i'll pick on my husband and my relationship again a little bit uh, there's times where uh, I, when I was going intensively to therapy, when we first started our relationship, there was things that really frustrated me. And I was going to therapy once a week or once every two weeks, something like that. And as I was going, I remember telling her, I was like, well, I just don't know. And she said, Erica, stop. Stop right now you are self-sabotaging this is a great relationship you are in a really healthy place right now and you're not seeing how you are sabotaging yourself and that moment really kind of slapped me and she may not have been a friend but it was counsel that i was looking outside of myself for and in that moment i was like what do you mean i'm self-sabotaging how? What, what is it that I'm doing? What is it that I'm tripping myself up in? And she basically came, helped me come to the realization that you're going to argue in your relationship. There are going to be times that you will be challenged. And sometimes you just need to ride the wave. Granted, there are unhealthy relationships where you should definitely leave and get out of there. But are you looking for the counsel from someone that has been in the situation or knows or has more in-depth perspective that can help you? If my husband was at that time putting me down, ridiculing me, criticizing me, even physically hurting me, I should leave. But it was regular, normal relationship issues that I felt were the end of the world because I didn't know how to handle that. I didn't have the tools. And continuing to work with those people, my married friends, my therapist, all of the different things, they really helped me 
see and understand, oh, okay, I need to chill out for right now. <laughs> and then the last care category is self-care. The therapy did go into self-care a little bit because it is taking care of myself and building those tools that I need for my life to be able to handle those situations that I may not have come into life prepared with due to my background. But self-care is another category that I am really struggling with because I find myself taking away time from work or friends or life or love to do the self-care. And when I say self-care, it can be, I want to be just alone. I just want to be alone with my thoughts. This morning, the reason why I'm actually doing this video is because I was really overwhelmed. And I was just feeling like, what am I doing? What am I doing? How do I need direction? So what I actually did is I drove up to the top of a mountain. I won't say which one, but I just drove up to the top of a mountain and I just sat and I turned off everything. I put my phone on do not disturb. I turned my ringer off. I didn't answer any text messages, even though they were rolling in. And I said, just me right now. It's just me. And I allowed myself to be peaceful. I even went outside and I screamed a little bit. I just screamed and then I cried. And then I let myself really enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the way that the clouds were moving. Enjoy this rays of sunshine that were coming through those clouds. Enjoy the icy cold wind that was biting my cheeks. I enjoyed every single moment of it. And then I got cold and then I got in my car and I sat in my car and I just sat for a little bit longer. And then when I felt like my feelings were complete, that anger, that frustration, and then that serenity came and washed over me, I plugged in my music and I played it full blast. And I just sang and sang and sang for a few different songs. And the songs that really resonated with what it was that I was feeling, what it was that I was needing, and what I needed to express. And in those few moments of just being and not thinking of what I needed to do, what I should do, what I could do, who I want to be, who I need to be. I was just me. And that self-care gave me perspective. It gave me perspective to help anyone that needs to hear this today. And I will be posting my blog as well for anyone that needs to read what I, what I came up with today as well. But self-care is another category that we really need to find a balance with. And I'm not perfect, so I'm still working on it. I am actually working on figuring out what the questions are, what is it, and how much time I need and I'm going to deem appropriate to take for each of my categories. But now I have a clearer understanding of what it is that I need and want in my life. Where is it that I can take away some things? And what is it that I want to put in to my life? And I hope that today's video really helps anyone that needs to hear it. Because in the new year, we have all these expectations or resolutions or things like that. I didn't do a resolution this year. I just said, Spirit, guide me on my journey. Because at this point, I'm just putting my hands up and I'm letting you take the wheel. <laughs> So maybe today you just need to let God take the wheel, spirit, source, whatever it is that resonates with you, just let them take the wheel. I asked my angels to really open up today and give me some perspective. And as I was crying it out, I just saw a rainbow. And I believe in so many synchronicities. And that rainbow was like, in the middle of all these black dark clouds because there's a storm of brewing outside. And I said, okay, right now I'm in my storm and I am going to relish this storm. 
I am going to sit in the storm and I'm going to feel this storm out. Thank you. So I hope that today's video helps you out. If you are struggling with work, life, love, family balance, take a moment to really categorize what it is that you want and how you want to portray it. And I hope that this helps you understand a little bit more and asks, gives you the right questions to ask. And of course, if you need any help, please feel free to schedule an appointment. My, my uh, scheduling link will be provided in the descriptions below. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much and Happy New Year.